Did you just update to iOS 16? Here are some of the best third-party applications that support new lock screen widgets on Apple's biggest update. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and iOS 16 brings tons of new features. I've already done a deep dive covering nearly 200 changes in this massive update, but I want to focus here on the lock screen. Apple now supports lock screen widgets that can be super useful and many of Apple's native applications already support them. Basic ones like weather, home, uh, your fitness rings, batteries, calendar, stuff like that. But this also works with third party applications and that is what I'm going to talk about here. I'm going to highlight the best third party applications that I have found so far that take advantage of Apple's new lock screen widgets feature. The first app that I want to talk about is called Flighty. Flighty is super useful for anybody who is a frequent flyer. Track all of your information in this app relating to your flight. Your flight number, its status, is it delayed, is it on time, uh, what gate it's at, your baggage claim, all of that can be tracked with inside of Flighty. And now there are new lock screen widgets. There are some basic ones such as countdown to your trip. There's one that'll give you an in-flight progress tracker so you know how far into your flight you are, which is especially useful for long flights. And you can see things like the weather for where you are arriving to. So you don't have to change it each time, just every time you have a flight going on, it'll know where you're going to arrive and what the weather will be like. But there's two widgets that I think are beyond cool and helpful. The first one provides information such as your gate. It'll provide your gate, the time of your flight, and a live status of the flight right from your lock screen. So especially as you're getting ready for a trip, you can see exactly the status of your flight without having to open any application at all. Another one can provide booking codes, seat numbers, and what baggage claim your flight is on. Also pretty useful for those who frequently fly. Combine these together for the best flight tracking widgets on your iPhone. Another app that I found really helpful on the lock screen is Carrot Weather. Carrot Weather is probably the most popular weather out there other than the stock one or maybe dark sky that happens to be going away. So if you use Carrot, you probably already know this. Carrot has a ton of widgets to go on your lock screen. Basically everything you could ever imagine. My favorite is the basic snark one where they give you the weather while also being kind of sassy at the same time. What Carrot is absolutely known for. But there's everything else that you need to. Weather conditions, rain status, UV percentage. Like it's insane the number of widgets that Carrot has. And as you go through all the widgets, the last widget suggested is just a straight up custom widget that you can help design yourself inside of the Carrot app. Carrot has a bunch of other new features as well in this big update that came alongside iOS 16, including three column support over on iPad. So even though iPadOS 16.1 isn't here, the new version of Carrot already is. Anyone who's done a lot of online shopping has probably heard of Parcel. Parcel is a great tracking application inside of your phone to track your packages. So UPS, Amazon, DHL, FedEx, all that kind of stuff. And sure, you can open the app and see all of those things, or you can use the new parcel lock screen widgets. You can see things like an icon depicting the status of your order, how many days until that pro product arrives at your house, home, office, or my favorite one is an actual live update of that package. So you can see like you ordered a new iPhone 14, it is on vehicle, ready for delivery, coming today. And it supports the widgets along the top as well in that text field. For photographers, you might use a camera app other than Apple's, but unfortunately, Apple's is the only one that can be launched directly from the lock screen, which really hurts a lot of third-party applications out there. To launch another camera app, you have to unlock your phone, find that app, and then open it. Even if you put it right there in your lock screen or your home screen, you still have to swipe up and then tap on it. But not anymore. Halide has a new quick access widget that goes right on your lock screen as a widget. Tap it and you are immediately inside of the Halide app ready to capture a photo. It is the best way to launch an excellent third-party camera app. Speaking of launching third-party apps, I also love Just Press Record. If you do a lot of recordings, helpful for students or reporters or just anyone who wants to take these voice recordings, you don't have to go into your phone, launch an app, and then do it. You can now do it from your launch screen with the Just Press Record launch lock screen widget. Just tap the icon and boom, you're instantly recording. Redditors rejoice, there is a new lock screen widget for Apollo. The Apollo for Reddit app is a great custom user experience beyond the stock Reddit application on mobile devices. I like it a lot, probably better than the actual Reddit app. And with this new update, 
there's more fun stuff. So there's a bunch of new things in the app itself, but I love the actual lock screen widgets. One can show you just your Karma account, which is, uh, okay, I'm not doing this for the Karma, but I do like the one that shows trending posts. So you can actually see what is popular on Reddit now, tap right in and get into it. So you don't miss anything that's happening on Reddit. So if you're a big Redditor, you'll probably love the new update to Apollo. Another useful widget is Fantastical as a replacement for Apple's own calendar. There are several different options available, including what you have upcoming next, a full calendar month view, which I love, as well as quick actions that can customize for events, tasks, or performing a search. Then we have weather graphs. Weather graphs is pretty cool, and this update might not actually be out by the time you're watching this video if you're really quick, but it will be out very, very soon. So weather graphs, great app for iPhone and Apple Watch, and shows weather graphically as well as giving you all that information. And they're bringing these tiny little graphs to your lock screen. So you don't just get the current forecast or something like that. You can see trend charts and hourly forecasts and all these cool things. Weather graph is an awesome weather application and I love what they've done with these charts and weather information to bring them to your lock screen. Super useful beyond just a current weather temperature that is currently happening. So those are just my top recommendations. There are other big ones that are out there, ones for like uh, Gmail, there are ones for, I think Chrome has some lock screen widgets, Facebook has one which I desperately do not want on my lock screen, um, but those are the biggest ones that I think that are worth calling out and highlighting, that are most useful to most people. But that is not the exhaustive list of lock screen widgets. There are a ton more that could be useful based on what you're doing. Timelines is a nice app. There is Night Sky, there is Dark Noise, there is Kelsey, there is Streaks, hello there. Over on Twitter, I actually started a thread where I've been putting all these as well as other people replying and sending their own apps that they have found that support lock screen widgets. Check that out as well as the link down below in the description for the full list of apps that I would recommend you guys check out. Let me know what you guys think over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and stay tuned for so many more iPhone videos coming your way.